I'm Emily from Plants for Presents and today I'd like to share with you my simple homemade limoncello recipe. You need nine fresh lemons, you need a bottle of your favourite vodka, you need some sugar, 200 to 400 grams, you need some basic kitchen utensils and something to make the limoncello in. I'm lucky enough to run the Plants of Presence nursery here in Sussex and we grow lots of different citrus varieties and lots of different lemon trees. This lemon here is a lemon four seasons with all these lovely fruit on and because they're so fresh they're going to have that fantastic flavour when I'm making my limoncello. If you do need to buy your own um, then just make sure that you're buying unwaxed lemons but the beauty of growing your own is not only that they taste fantastic but also you get to know that they've had no wax, no chemicals, no nothing nasty on the skins and it's the zest and the skin that you're going to be using to make the limoncello. Start off by pouring some vodka into a larger bottle. The aim with making limoncello is you want to infuse all the lovely oils out of the lemon skin into the vodka. Now you want the fresh zesty bit but not the bitter white pith. So I find a really good uh, thin potato peeler like this is excellent because it gets off the yellow zest but leaves behind the bitterness that we don't want. Now you'll see I'm doing big chunks, it doesn't need to be very fine um, strips, you can do long strips. And actually I've chosen a lemon off the tree that's almost a little bit unripe, there's a little bit of green um, still on this lemon and that's really good for limoncello, you don't want to use a, a lemon that's overripe, they can get a little bit bitter or musty tasting if you use a very ripe lemon. It's good to use a lemon that's just on the turn as this one is and as you do it you can really smell the oils and that's what's going to make it taste so good. So you'll end up with nine naked lemons like these and a bottle of vodka with lots of this fresh zest in. These lemons, once they've been peeled, don't keep as long. Keep a couple of weeks still in the fridge and there's a recipe on the website for my Ginalicious if you're wondering what to do with the spare juice from these lemons. You can see it starts to colour just slightly straight away but over a period of a week to two weeks it really starts to change colour. So here's one that I made a couple of weeks ago and you can now see that the bright colour from the lemon skin has come out into the vodka and it's turned this gorgeous almost fluorescent colour and the skin itself in there has gone a very pale, almost anemic colour. So once your limoncello has been infusing for a couple of weeks, then you want to strain off the mixture. You want to get rid of all the zest and bits of peel that are in there. So I've just got a funnel and a sieve to catch any bits that come through. This is basically lemon infused vodka at this stage and you can use it in cocktails and it's really nice on its own but to make it into a proper limoncello you need to add some sugar. Now with the sugar and the nice thing about making limoncello yourself is that you can adjust the sugar, you can have it as sweet or as sour as you like it. With this recipe I suggest the first time you make it you make more than enough, you make four cups of sugar to four cups of water um, as a sugar syrup and then use just what you need to get the flavour right. Making the sugar syrup couldn't be easier. You just add one cup of sugar to each cup of water and heat it over a flame. It'll start off cloudy and within a couple of minutes you'll start to see it clear. When it's completely dissolved the liquid will be clear and then you know it's ready. You can do this when it's hot but you might want to put it to one side and let it cool off slightly. But what I'm going to do is, is pour some of this mixture directly into the lemon vodka. So this is my sugar syrup going in and as it goes in you can see it mixing nicely. I've made this quite a few times before so I'm only going to put half the mixture in. That's two cups of sugar. Once you've put a bit of sugar in then it's worth having a little taste to make sure that it's on the right track for you. So let's have a little taste. Now that's perfect for me, nice and sharp. But if you do like it a little bit sweeter, then do add more sugar syrup until it's at the right flavour and sweetness level for you. Once you've done that, it will keep really well, this limoncello. You can pop it, um, like any other spirit, in a dark, cool place. It will keep for years. I like to keep it in the fridge, then it's ready. If somebody comes round, it's a lovely drink to welcome people into the house with. It's a lovely after-dinner drink, a digestive. Um, and you can mix it with fizzy water and mint to make a lovely summer cooler as well. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching and I hope I've inspired you to have a little go at trying this limoncello yourself at home. That's all from me. Cheers. <laughs>